please welcome Eric Martin and David Duke. Eric, um, you know, what was the genesis of Reddit, and uh, and how did you, you know, you were originally an aspiring filmmaker. How did uh, how did that come about? How did uh, how did you become the kind of online celebrity that you are now in the Time 100 polled universe? Sure. So um, I I. Uh, yeah, originally I was a, a documentary filmmaker and working on production and marketing and things like that for, for other films, including my own. And I was a, I read a book called Hackers and Painters by Paul Graham, which I highly recommend. Um, just about how like programmers and artists, you know, people are, are, are both people that make things and, and how they're different. Um, and then I uh, started following Paul's blog and he announced that he was doing this program called Y Combinator which was an incubator back in 2005, and instead of giving startups a bunch of money, they were just gonna give them like 10,000 bucks and an apartment for three months and then see what happened. And at the time that was, I mean, that's what kind of everyone is doing now, but at the time that was really innovative. And so I was like, wow, that would be an interesting documentary. And so I uh, applied to Y Combinator, but as a filmmaker, um, and they, they turned me down, um, which was probably the right decision. But it, I, at that point it was too late. I was already kind of hooked on, and, on following and seeing what happened with that story. And, they, Reddit was the first company to launch out of Y Combinator, and from the moment I saw it, I was like, this is really you know, an amazing site, and I just became a, a fan and um, got in contact with Alexis Ohanian, one of the, one of the two co-founders, and just you know, said, whatever I can do to help, I, I, love, I love what's going on at Reddit, and uh, you know, anything I can do. And so we started doing, um, you know, working on some projects together and just kind of exchanging ideas, and then uh, I, uh, I actually worked on a ill-fated TV pilot um, involving Reddit, uh, and but just got to know the team and then you know, wound up doing uh, part-time work, and you know, six years later, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm still here. And so you run a company that's uh, now partially owned or primarily owned by uh, Condé Nast, with two founders that are still remaining, and then uh, what, uh, you've got 40 employees in New York, um, you know, with a company that reaches 100, you know, it's one of the top 100 sites, four billion page views. How do you operate with such a small staff? And, 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 and kind of in five, you know, and, and well, we're cut back time-wise, so maybe in two minutes or less. Sure. Explain what Reddit is, just in general. Sure, so Reddit is basically a platform for communities. Um, so you can go on Reddit and create a community about whatever it is that you're interested in or likely find an already existing community, or we call them subreddits, um, or around a certain, a certain topic or a certain concept. Um, so there's now hundreds of thousands of these subreddits, and there's about 600 created every day. So every day there's 600 new communities created. Um, and so, you know, everything on Reddit is voted up and down by users, so there's nothing really editorial. We don't decide what's on the top. Um, it, it's, all, it's all driven by the users. So there's about a million votes, no, I'm sorry, there's about a million comments per day on Reddit, and about 20 million votes per day on Reddit. Um, and so we have, uh, you know, our entire staff is, is about 40 people. And, you know, we're able to do that because one, we're open source. Um, so we get a lot of technical contribution from our community. And then, you know, we're also sort of open source in the, in, in the sense that uh, our, our community of, of contributors, and moderators, and, and just people on the site voting things up and down, and they're determining what's, what's on top, or they're determining what the new, what new community is gonna rise or fall. There's a, there's a great little video, if you guys want to go to YouTube, uh, there's a great video on what is Reddit. And, uh, and it has a really cute little description of kind of a helium balloon example on, 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 on how the communities, on, on how that kind of, uh, what, what the topics rise and fall. Yeah, so I mean, you know, Reddit was designed so that basically even the most popular thing, even when, you know, President Obama came on Reddit, uh, you know, that was only at the top for you know, 12 hours or something. So it, the way Reddit was designed is everything has a very high churn rate. So it's constantly, you know, what's on the front page is constantly rising and falling um, and new stuff is constantly churning in. And so, yeah, the, the um, actually that the helium balloon art was actually done by a 16-year-old a, a uh, fan who he sent us some fan art in of, of the, the alien mascot with helium balloons and, and everything. So yeah, we think that's a nice, a nice metaphor. And, and you know, there's a lot of a, a lot of people use Reddit just uh, just for their own kind of conversations and the communities they, they form. But what's the best way to kind of build these communities for for whether it be artists or or, or brands or or kind of you call it a messy patchwork of chaos that it, that is what is Reddit. But there's got to be a system or a format. 
Yes, I mean, there's, there's a few different ways. There are certainly some, some brands um, that, that have their own kind of fan community. So any of the, any of the uh, you know, sort of gaming, um, any of the big games, especially the you know, sort of esports variety of online games, uh, things like League of Legends, uh, you know, StarCraft, things like that, have their own existing communities. Um, that are you know hugely important and, and passionate fans. The same around any, any TV show has a you know uh, is likely to have a, a good fan base on Reddit. You know, and and but but um, you know the the other way is is we, we also have sort of sponsored headlines. You know, sort of our version of native advertising where uh, you know brands can come in whether it's a big company or a small company come in and sort of you know talk about their their product or service and then more importantly I think you know respond to comments. So our just like our submissions to Reddit, um, you know, our advertising, you can also vote it up or down and, and engage in comments. So, you know, for example, uh, Reddit has, you know, the largest form of people who are into the keto diet, which is sort of a new sort of lifestyle diet. And there's now the sort of new companies being formed to serve that, that lifestyle, that, that diet choice, you know, new bars that are friendly. To, and, and so they can then talk to that community, you know, show their products and then answer questions about it. And, and it's a really great way to engage, you know, people who are passionate about whatever it is that you're, you're offering. So there's an automated way to buy advertising um, that you can go in at 75 cent CPMs, et cetera, et cetera. But then when you want to take it to the next level from a brand level, um, you, there's a couple of recent examples I just saw um, that you, um, Maker's Mark got in bed with you with the Kentucky Derby. And then a kind of a cool one is the Doge Car, which is a Bitcoin uh, company that just got formed in November um, that uh, sponsors a car in NASCAR. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I actually just, I, I came to Toronto directly from, from Birmingham, Alabama. Where Tough I, choice, uh, Kentucky Derby, NASCAR. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, where I got to see a, uh, our, our Dogecoin, and Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency, similar to Bitcoin. Um, the biggest difference is they have a really cute dog mascot. Um, which is a, is a very distinct advantage. Um, and they, uh, Dogecoin didn't exist in November of last year, but uh, earlier this, or uh, last month, they raised uh, $55,000 to sponsor a NASCAR car. So I was at the Talladega Super Speedway, and you see, you know, car Home Depot, car, you know, Bud Light, car 3M, and then you see a car sponsored by a cryptocurrency that didn't exist six months ago. Is wild. I mean, un unbelievable. The you know the the announcers are having to like look things up on, on Google, and it's it's you know fascinating. Um, so, talking to that point, I mean, Reddit has the ability to change the yeah. world in many ways. Um, how do you think uh, you know? How do you think it's affecting the world and how we communicate? Our you know, I mean, YouTube is a way to share our, our videos, but. Reddit is, a, a, you know, in, in many ways, so many different types of information that you can share and communicate and create you know, these forums. Um, how, how is it affecting kind of our belief structures and our thoughts and information sharing? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think you know, Reddit, it, it, it's a place to create communities. It's a place, especially a place to create communities that wouldn't have a home otherwise. So you're talking about, you know, everything from, yeah, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies that are this brand new thing that there's not really an existing, you know, framework of, of media and sites and, and communities. Or, you know, it could be something like people that grew up with really strict, you know, Jehovah's Witness parents and are now, you know, becoming adults and trying to make sense of, of you know, their, their, their story and, and wanting to talk to other people that have had that same experience. Or it could be people that are really into, you know, some sp specific DIY project that are looking to share tips and tricks and talk about things with other, with, you know, people who are also passionate about that. So it's, it's, it's a way for people to sort of self-organize communities around something that they're passionate about. And the great thing is, that, you know, a, a lot of our, our top subreddits, we never would have predicted, you know, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, that that would be popular. Um, you know, I, I think it, it's, um, you know, it, it's a way for people not only to self-organize, but for really the, the, those self-organizing communities to decide what's important, what's, what's popular, and, and that, you know, is always sort of surprising. And there's got to be some rules of engagement because there's, um, you know, you've got information that goes up there that, that can be positive and negative, right? Um, depending on how you post things. I think you use some examples of, uh, um, you know, um, Army using, putting up, uh, videos from the field, from the army field. Like, how, how, there is no editorial influence, right? There's no, but there's are some rules. Yeah, I mean, we, 
and it, you know, we as a platform only have a handful of rules that, you know, we, we pick rules that, you know, like don't spam, don't do anything illegal, no personal information. You know, we pick a handful of rules that are, that are relatively, you know, clear cut and relatively self enforceable. But then the individual communities, you know, create their own set of rules. Some of them have very few, and some of them have a lot. If you go into the, you know, if you go into uh, Ask Science, which is one of our biggest science communities, and you make a comment and don't cite your sources or don't link to, you know, peer-reviewed uh, articles, you're going to get your comments going to get removed. You can't, you know, you can't make a great pun about a noble gas in there. They'll remove your comment. So, um, you know, other subreddits uh, are, are going to, you know, are all, you know, have very specific rules about what you can submit. So, you know, our philosophy is that those communities that have, that have you know, sort of self-organized and created that space, they're the best people to determine what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. Um, and so, yeah, something like we have a, there's a popular subreddit, you know, combat footage um, that's just footage from, from, you know, mostly like GoPro cameras on, on helmets of soldiers. And, and they have specific rules uh, around, you know, not identifying exactly where the content's coming from so that, you know, no one gets in trouble and things like that. But, uh, yeah, it's sort of we're, we're a platform and we let the communities decide what, what is appropriate and what's not. What are some of the greatest uh, moments in subreddit's history? So I mean, the, the Doge, the Doge car at NASCAR was has to be up there. That was absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I think uh, uh, another thing recently that was amazing that Reddit was a, a, a you know not entirely on Reddit, but Reddit was part of it was this Twitch Plays Pokemon phenomenon. Which if you haven't seen this, check it out. Twitch Plays Pokemon, basically uh, Twitch TV, which is a live streaming video site primarily used for people to show themselves and their friends playing esports and things like that. Um, uh, someone hooked that up to a Pokemon game from like 1998. So you have a live chat and a live video stream and the uh, game is being controlled by the users who are in the chat room. So people are you know, typing right, type left, up, down, and hundreds of thousands of inputs are coming in every minute and, and this poor Pokemon game is having to, you know, the characters like walking in circles and, and you know, bumping into walls and stuff because everybody's collectively trying to control them. But then, and this all happened organically, and then, and then, you know, people decided, oh, well, that's that's too much chaos. We need to have a democracy mode. So then they created this democracy mode where, you know, the the game will take the the last 20 inputs and execute the one that's most popular. So then, then it becomes playable. But you have, I mean, you know, you have 100,000 people playing basically a Game Boy from 1998 live on video in this really wild way. I mean, that's that was really fun to watch in the last couple of months. Well, it's almost a new form of communication. I mean, What's the future for Reddit? Obviously, you've got you know your monetization from both the sub subscription level, right? Yeah. Um, um, you were talking. I think we were back in the room talking a little bit about Reddit TV. Uh, but what are, what are kind of some of the futures of where Reddit's going to you know evolve to? Yeah. So I mean, you know, there's a few things we know. One, you know, we know obviously more and more people are accessing Reddit on mobile devices. So you know, I think there's there's some exciting things there that we're we're working on, and also people in our, in our sort of developer community are working on. There's a lot of great Reddit apps out there, none of which are ones that we've made. Um, so that's, that's exciting. Um, and then, yeah, Reddit TV is basically a front end for all the videos submitted to Reddit. So you go to reddit.tv and you can watch one of, you know, a thousand different channels um, and watch videos back to back to back um, as sort of curated by the community. But, you know, th those are just like two ways of people accessing the content and the data and sort of the, the, the curation that the Reddit community provides. Um, you know, down the road, especially since, you know, Reddit is open source. We're, you know, are up there with Wikipedia in terms of huge open source projects. So, you know, we don't know exactly what people are going are gonna to do next with that. Um, and that's, you know, we don't know even on, on, on Reddit proper, like what, you know, a year from now, what are the most popular sections going to be. Um, well, you were saying time spent on Reddit is about how long? Uh, average time spent per session on Reddit is about 15 minutes. And then on Reddit TV? On Reddit TV it's 39 minutes. Which yeah. is kind of a, a big move from the broadcast industry to move over that. And a lot of the content that's being put up there is, is original from the users? So, I mean, it, it depends. There's, there's channels that are just showing, you know, sort of full movies on YouTube that are, you know, licensed and all that. And then there's channels that are just, you know, cat videos or otter videos or, you know, any sort of cute animal. There's, there's ones that are just sort of instructional. Um, there's a bunch of great, there's about 500 music channels uh, just on reddit.tv. So there's really, um, there's a, one of my favorites is called Deep Into YouTube. Um, and you can just watch really bizarre videos from YouTube that you wouldn't find otherwise. So how could artists utilize it? 
Well, I mean, I, I think primarily it's just a way to sort of observe um, and, and listen to what, what a community cares about and listen to, you know, how they, how they are thinking about things. Um, and, and then there's... Some celebrities use it as forums too, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Snoop uh, comes on pretty often. Arnold pops in occasionally. Um, uh, Bill Gates comes on every once in a while. Um, so, yeah, the, it's, it's, it's a... It's a hard force. Hasn't used it yet. Uh, not, that, not that I know of, but I'm sure he would get a great response. Can't get a conversation without slipping in. Um, I, I think our time's pretty much up. Um, I don't know if we're opening up to questions at all, or it's just... Uh, Greg, got any questions? Okay, just go want to say that the Twitch Plagues Pokemon was really funny. Um, we're thinking of doing AMAs um, as part of our college, uh, just with alumni. What kind of AMAs do you find are really popular? Like, what kind of content do people want from an AMA? I mean, it depends. So if you're if you're doing a, a so AMA is the sort of rhetorical format, ask me anything that, that sort of got popular on Reddit. Um, and there's a there's a big subreddit, I, I am a, where sort of the you know the kind of bigger celebrities and uh, do that. But there are a lot, there's also AMAs that happen, you know, in all kinds of different subreddits. So you could do one just in a, a local subreddit or. You know, just in there's there's subreddits for every college out there. You can do it just in the college subreddit, and and so you're going to find you know depending on what subreddit you do it in, different things are going to be popular. But but you know, I think overall people are looking for they're looking for you know candid responses. Um, they're looking for you know stories. They, they want to you know if they ask a question and it you know sparks a really interesting story. That's that's obviously appealing. Um, and they're looking you know they're also looking for people to respond back. So not just to answer the question, but then to respond to the responses. So to really, you know, engage with, with the people that are there active in there. And, and also weird medical stories are always really popular for some reason. If you have like 11 toes or, or something weird like that, for whatever reason, uh, that's gonna be really popular as well. Thanks very much, guys. I appreciate it. It was a great session. David, I'll let you